What's good? I'm Moises and welcome to New England Education. This channel is going to be dedicated to telling my story and the story of my friends as we navigate college and life in New England. We hope that through this channel we can educate some of you on the college application process, the college success process, and college in general. Uh, we can't wait to share our experiences with you all and we hope you stay tuned. Uh, on to today's video. Hey, so I'm Moises from Los Angeles, California, and yes, I got into my dream school. Now, a lot of you might be asking, like, what is that school? You know, how did you get there? And that's exactly what I'm going to say. So, my dream school, which I came to learn last year, is Franklin W. Olin College of Engineering, or as many people know it, Olin College of Engineering. If you've never heard about it, I don't blame you. I didn't know about it until last summer and that happened because uh, I was lucky enough to be part of this program called SCS Newton Scholars. They're based out of Los Angeles and out of Boston and they're a program for low income, high achieving high school seniors. Uh, they help you get into college, succeed in college, and then they help you get an amazing career and through them. I was able to spend six weeks in Amherst, Massachusetts last summer, and uh, during during those six weeks, uh, Olin College of Engineering came to visit us, and I've always known that I was interested in engineering uh, from a young age. Um, I've always been interested with cars and mechanical stuff, you know, seeing the evolution of one car to the next, so I've always known that automotive engineering or mechanical engineering was my passion. And so when Olin came to visit, I spoke to their rep. I was one of the only people that was interested in them. And I asked them one question, can I bring my car to Olin? Because most schools won't let you bring a car if you're a freshman. And if they do, they'll make, they'll make you pay a ton of money. Um, and they were like, yes, of course you can. And parking is free and guaranteed. And I was sold. So a small disclaimer, I am and always have been a very strong student. Uh, I always spend the majority of my time on school and on my assignments, and I think that's a huge part of why I am where I am today. Uh, but it's definitely not everything. It's definitely not the only reason why I got into Olin, and it's definitely not the only reason why I am successful, and I'll explain that right now. So I think what's important to understand about the college application process is that it's way more about who you are as a person and how perfect of a fit you are for a school rather than how amazing of a student you are. Um, I know that's exactly why I loved Olin. Um, Olin really cares about how much you love them, not necessarily how amazing you are as a student, and yes, you have to be a good student to get in. They only accept about 13% of students who apply. But at the same time, you really have to be an Oliner to get in. And that's because they fly you out, or in my case, they flew me out, but they make sure that you go on campus, that you get interviewed, and that you interview them so that you are completely sold on them and that they are completely sold on you and there are no other schools that will do that for you and that's exactly why i knew that they cared about me and why i should care about them now a lot of information that people always want to know are like what are your stats um, well as i've explained i'm a latino student low income from los angeles california um, i'll probably put my stats right up here but in high school, I had about a 4.4 GPA. I was a valedictorian of my class. In my high school, as long as you have above a 4.0, you get valedictorian status. But I was the winner of many national scholarships as well as local ones. And I was team captain of my model UN team, uh, a youth group leader for a couple churches, and just, extremely interested in just making things better for my community 
uh, in any way that I could. So, yeah, in high school, I would say that I was, you know, not the super most, like, extravagant genius student with, like, research and everything. But I also was someone who cared a lot about what I did and how I was impacting others on my way to college. Something that I want to highlight that a lot of students overlook is the importance of applying to things. Um, I know that I personally, I've always just applied to scholarships, applied to events, applied to activities that need an application because you never know how that could affect you, give you networks of people to connect with, give you just experiences that you would have not had otherwise. Um, I think it's super important to apply because the worst that can happen is they tell you no and the best thing that can happen is they tell you yes and you gain experience, you gain connections. It's so vital to apply to scholarships and to apply to schools. I applied to a lot of schools and you know you can watch a ton of college videos and they'll tell you oh yeah you know you want to have your five reach, your five safety and your five uh, goal schools. But at the same time, apply to schools that you like. Apply to schools that where you can see yourself. And apply, your, apply yourself to schools that you can afford. Now, if you know that this school is going to meet you full, you're gonna match um, your, your FAFSA, and that you're going to get all the aid you need, apply, especially if you like it. And honestly, I think personally I made the right decision because even though I could have gone to schools that um, have a bigger name because I did get into 13 out of those 18 schools. I got into UC Berkeley Engineering. I got into Carnegie Mellon Engineering. Um, I'll put up a list like right here of what I got into and for what. Um, and most of those schools I got in with a full ride or a little bit under. Um, so I could have definitely gone to a brand name school um, and had a great time. But I think at the end of the day, when you apply to schools, it's so important to research them and to know what, what you need from them and uh, how they can, can benefit from having you and how they can help you. For example, I had this notion in my head that I really wanted to go to U Michigan. That was my dream school before Olin. Um, and throughout the whole college application process, I was telling myself, if I get into Michigan, I'm going. If I get into Michigan, I'm going. I applied early action, uh, which means it wasn't binding. And I was deferred, meaning they pushed back my decision until the spring and I heard back from them in February and they accepted me but they accepted me with pretty poor aid and at that moment I came to the conclusion that you know if they couldn't fund my education then it wasn't the school for me and they didn't care enough um, but regardless I still put in a uh, a request for a revision of my financial aid um, and it took a while before I heard back and um, right about that time when I heard back from Michigan I was also visiting Olin uh, that's when they have something called candidates weekend which is the time when they fly you out or they just they get you to go on campus regardless of where you're from and uh, I went there I spent three days there under their supervision uh, I got to tour them, I to tour the Boston area and the nearby Babson campus. I learned so much about the school and so much about the area. Um, and I left Needham, which is the city where Olin's at, uh, knowing that was the school for me. I had completely fallen in love with it. And I literally counted down the days until they would release their decisions. Um, you know, every other school was just releasing and releasing and releasing. Um, and they were coming back all, yes, 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 you know. Um, and a couple knows Ivy Day was a big 
it's a big no as expected but it's okay um and uh olin didn't give us a date for uh their decision to to come out so when it came out on the 29th of march uh i was whew, i was overly uh excited um obviously because of the coronavirus um, here in California, we had a stay-at-home order, and school was already digital. Um, so, you know, I was at home when it came out, and yeah. All right, so we're gonna open up Olin. Come over here. This is the one school that we want to get into. I'm, I'm so nervous. Let's go! If you're here watching this video, it's probably because you care about college. Now, when you apply to colleges, make sure they care about you. You know, if you're a great student, a dedicated student, someone who is trying their hardest to get to the next level of, of schooling, don't let them just give you less than what you're worth. You know, know your worth know how amazing of a student you are and make sure that they're giving you that money make sure that they're giving you your attention and make sure that you know you're taking advantage of all the resources that you're given by them and by other schools you know you can have leverage if you get into one school and use it towards you know hey you guys didn't give me enough money and they did um, you know if, if you really have a goal in mind Stick to it and don't let, you know, a school telling you no discourage you. Uh, I know that I might not be the person to talk because I was accepted to most of the schools I got into, uh, most of the schools that I applied to. So that's the story about how I got into my dream school. There will be plenty of Olin videos coming up soon. Uh, Moving date is about a month and a half away. So uh, I'll be sure to post a lot of videos on my journey to Olin as, um, as I'll be driving 3,000 miles across the country to Olin and I'll make sure to vlog that with you guys. Um, my friends are going to be on this channel very soon and you guys are going to get to hear some different stories from people all across the country. Uh, I can't wait to continue making these videos for you all and if you have any questions about the college application process um, and you know if you have questions about college don't ask me yet uh, I'll be able to answer those in the future but if you have you know, application questions or you know scholarship help um, just email the email in the description and I'll make sure to get back to you uh, until then uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and See you guys next time.